It's a Manchu. I'm back to the quarry. So far, things have been going reasonably well. There's four camp counselors still left alive. Max, Abby, Caitlin, and Dylan. And depending on who infected who first, Dylan may or may not still be a werewolf, and Caitlin may or may not be about to turn into one. And now, I'm on the last chapter. Is it still possible for me to get the perfect ending? I don't know. I'll try my best, but I'm not really sure. Some of these characters may inevitably survive, and there may be nothing I can do about it. Right now, Max is on the island, and in this place he's relatively safe. If he stayed here till morning, well, he probably would be safe. But he wants to find Laura. Little does he know that Laura's already dead. Don't we should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah, yeah, things would have been better if he had. But how are you supposed to trust that cop? He was shady from the get-go. Oh, fuck! Oh, that's what's left of Emma. that feels like to him. He did that. Probably doesn't remember it. Oh, except the phone might have record of it. evidence against him? Eh, probably not. Who's gonna believe that a werewolf did that? Yeah, she did, alright. Of course, we already knew that. Uh... Oh, I got totally turned around. This way. Yeah, since werewolves apparently can't cross water, there shouldn't be anything dangerous here. Depend like I say, depending on who bit who first, Silas might be the only werewolf that's left. I'm assuming that Silas is a werewolf, and Silas is the one that infected Chris Hackett. What's this here? Well, it's Laura's hat. Yeah, she's not here anymore. <laughs> not sure why you would put the hat on. Maybe you like to save it for Laura. Yeah, tracksuit's not exactly fashionable. But there should be a boat up here somewhere, right? Ooh, or is there? Not, but he could swim for it. Wouldn't be that tough. It's not that far. He could swim for it. Yeah, swim to shore. I agree, Max. It better have a great freaking ending. Is he gonna doggy paddle across? <laughs> That'd be appropriate. Yeah, like I say, if Max had stayed on the island, he'd probably have been safe. We don't want that. Can't have that. That was quick. That was a quicker ending than I expected. Uh, 
Caitlin must have ran back to the lodge when uh, Dylan turned. Is Dylan still a werewolf? Okay. Don't know. Nice. Hopefully they realize the campus closed and try the motel up the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. Your brain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. Upstairs? I don't know what the hackers are gonna do at this point either. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Is that Travis or Bobby? I'm kind of annoyed that some of these clues, if I don't get the first clue, then the follow-up clues that link to it don't get added in, so it's unfortunate. Turned around here. Is there a way further up? I can check the office. How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. Maybe I should keep looking. I guess. What, what was the prepare to attack option? I don't fully understand that. It's through here. Oh. Huh. Looks like some kind of classroom. What's that over there? R.I.P. Ian, we hardly knew you. You. Oh! Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight, sounds about right. That's what the collar was for, it was the, for the sheep Ian. And that's what uh, Chris Hackett, as the werewolf, was gnawing on in the basement. the office is. is it up here somewhere? I don't think so. Kind of lost. What's this? Um, trail cam footage. Hmm. It's like they're looking for something. Probably looking for Silas. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to take pictures of stuff with our cameras. I forgot about that. For evidence. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Busted. I probably don't want to be making noise with that right now. A ring? Where have I seen this emblem before? Huh. Belonged to Bobby Hackett, thrown off in a scuffle? 
Who is Bobby Hackett scuffling with? The campers never knew how Chris killed and ate the camp mascot. In fact, they didn't know a lot about camp leader Chris Hackett. Yeah, apparently. Uh, well, there's interesting evidence up here, but... figure out where the office is. I feel like I've been all through the whole place. I must have missed something. I don't think I've been in here. It's a weird change of angles. Let's see anything back here. Dylan's still a werewolf? God, I still don't know. Now that I think about it, who was a werewolf that attacked Max? It had to be either Caleb or Silas. I don't know if Caleb... Again, if Caleb was infected um, by Silas, then Caleb is still a werewolf. And for that matter, so is Dylan. Or did the werewolf that attacked Max, was that Silas? God, I don't know. That was Abby's, wasn't it? It's empty. been up here. Oh. I think I'd be getting more tarot cards. Well, this kind of sucks. All over this place multiple times. I haven't found Chris Hackett's office. And not much has happened. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I honestly have no freaking idea what I'm supposed to do here. I keep wandering around. Back and forth. Upstairs and downstairs. I haven't found shit. Vantage point. Find a vantage point. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh, 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 shit. Okay, I know what. Oh, God. I get it. Oh, my God. I finally figured out what I'm supposed to do. Go over here, look at the frickin' painting, prepare for attack. Stupid. That took me forever to figure out. There's 
definitely a werewolf out there still. Oh, it's coming down the chimney. Okay, that'll be fun. Showtime, motherfuckers. Let's do this. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> are getting very yellow. She may be about to turn soon. Uh, wait for it to get closer. off. Shoot some more. Shoot it again. Or not. Okay, don't shoot it again. I'm sure that'll stop it. Because she's about to turn? I don't know. It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you agree? The cycle continues, for some at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me, but not as much as you could have done. We're bonded now, you and I. And though the full moon will come again, and the curse remains, this night is over. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Hackett's quarry again. If I see you poking your nose where it doesn't belong, I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll be right behind you. The breath on your neck, always just out of sight. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you die. Now that's a threat. Oh, the sun has risen. It looks like Caitlin survived, although she's probably a werewolf now. As is Dylan. Abby, though, might have come through unscathed. Shaven razor 
colors go and it stays. Cheer up, sleepy G. I don't know that it was cold-blooded. Travis was pretty pissed. Travis Hackett alive. Bobby Hackett survived, too. Uninjured, my ass! He got the snot beat out of him. Well, Dylan's still infected, but now must live with a curse. Caleb got an axe, okay. Abigail made it out. Unbelievable. And Caitlin infected. And Caleb is alive. Well, I have to say, I'm disappointed by how it turned out for me. I was really trying to get everybody killed off by the end, and I realized, not before long, that just ignoring the interrupts was not going to work, and just failing every QTE was not enough to get everybody killed off to the end. And I, I got to hand it to them. This is much better than Until Dawn. Okay, I got to skip ahead there. Um... I'll come back to it in a little bit, but I wanted to finish my thoughts. Uh, there's a fascinating little podcast that happens in the credits, which is awesome. I gotta say, I'm really impressed by how this game turned out. I'm disappointed that I wasn't able to get all the camp counselors killed off, or all the characters killed off by the end. I'm sure it is possible, but it might be pretty tricky. And just failing at every QTE is not enough. In Until Dawn, that's all you needed to do. It was easy as falling off a log. Just fail all the QTEs, and with one small exception, you could get all of the characters killed off by Dawn. In this game, in the quarry, not so simple. I very much want to replay this game and see if I can accomplish that. There's a bunch of other possible outcomes that intrigue me as well, like maybe you could end up with everybody ending up infected. Or you could end up with everybody dead, which is what I was aiming for, and failed, even though I failed all the QTEs. Or you could end up with everybody surviving till the end. Boring! The quarry started out very much like I expected, with really cringe-inducing cheesy dialogue and bad acting. And a lot of characters acting stupidly. It took about until maybe two-thirds of the way through the story for me to start to get really into it. But I'm glad I stuck with it. The only criticism I can really level at this game is uh, the facial animations are a little weird. <laughs> they have these cartoonish lip movements that just seems wrong. But otherwise, this is... It kind of surprised me. This is a good game. I really enjoyed it. And I will play it again. Like I say, I want to go for the everybody dead outcome. You know, I started out in this playthrough... Like I said, I wasn't taking the game seriously at all. I was throwing in all kinds of uh, cutaway memes. But that stopped once you got to the police station. I didn't have a lot more cutaway memes after that. I was taking the game a lot more seriously. And... You know, I was going to enjoy this game one way or the other, either by making fun of it or getting really into it. I never expected to get really into it as I did. But I did have a fun time playing this game. And I hope you uh, enjoyed watching it and had fun along with me. If you did, leave me a like and 
consider subscribing to my channel. There'll be more Let's Plays to come. But now let me go back in the credits to show that podcast and end with that. This is Amanchu, and this was The Quarry. Bodies pile up after summer camp massacre. What do you make of that, Anton? Kind of a gross way to put it, no? Why make a pile? I think it's metaphorical. At least, I hope it's metaphorical. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh god, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation? Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really, really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you What are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because my sources tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Whoa, wait, for real? Yes, allegedly. Allegedly, yes, of course. That's, th that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so I choose to believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I, I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate, yes, I do think that these are very fashionable bags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. Wasn't a compliment. Oh. 
So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm-hmm, and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. So, I don't think that's going to be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's insane! What? Signed by Travis Hackett. Hey, we're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Fucked up that these guys know who we are. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, 
This is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool. A camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes... The truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please, just... Say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. What do you think of this? Oh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. 